Hello, hello friends. This is Becky with Becky Budgets. Just coming on here to go ahead and do our weekly paycheck update because today is payday, which is always so exciting. Uh, to those of you who are new to this channel, my husband and I are currently on a journey to pay off $69,000 worth of debt in order to possibly get into our first home within the next five years. If that's something that you're interested in joining us on, feel free to subscribe to this channel. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll be notified of any content that I post. Just to give an update to those who have been with me for a little while, today has been an awesome day. I can finally tell you that the wait is over and we are starting our treatments this week. So anxiety has subsided for now and we are excited to see what the next month brings to us. Um, I decided to uh, start a Instagram, which I'll go ahead and add to the description box. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> have to clear my throat. But I did uh, decide to start an Instagram just to keep people posted on my day-to-day -day life. And um, it's Becky Budgets 2022. And I, like I said, will add it to the description box in case any of you are interested on how things are going on this journey. Let's go ahead and get started, friends. So my husband's paycheck came in for $805.30. And that's a pretty good um, increase with a little overtime. So I do appreciate all the hard work he puts into helping us pay off this debt. Our rollover is currently sitting at $67.69. and we did not dip into our savings at all. So we are working with $805.30. When I come down to our bills, <clears throat> our Xfinity has been paid. It was 100, <clears throat> ooh, my, my throat. <laughs> Sorry about that. It was $148. And 32 cents. Our Advantage, we are doing something a little different because we went ahead and did auto payments. What the auto payments are going to do is actually uh, bring down the amount that we pay towards the interest. Um, if you're following the whole student debt thing, um, they're not adding any extra interest to things, but we're still paying off the interest that was already on the account. So by doing the auto payment, it brings it down about um, 2%, which isn't a lot, but anything helps. So that's actually set to go in through an auto payment on the 15th. But I know that the value is $180 and 84 cents. Microsoft is at a set 15.71 and the Cricut subscription is $10.79. When I add these four values together, let's see, let's see. It gives us a total of $355.66. When I take that away from our income, we are looking at a leftover of $449.64. That means that I can put a little extra into our variable envelopes, where do I start? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put the $100 that we wanted to go ahead and put towards food for this week. We can still skip gas. Let's go ahead and fill pets because that's a $70 to cap it out. So we'll put the $70 towards pets. I'll give the 50 to my husband. 
I'll hold off on mine. And we'll put the full $75 towards eating out. Miscellaneous has already been met. When I add these values together, that gives us a total of $295. And when I take that away from our leftover, that gives us a total of $154.64. Let me go ahead and pull that over. Our sinking funds are gonna go ahead and get filled. So medical is gonna get its weekly 25. Vet, household, car maintenance, and gifts are gonna get their weekly 15. Vacation will get five. Renters insurance and car registration get three apiece. And then those $4 to round it up to $100. And when I take the 100 away from our leftover, we're left with $54.64. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna actually have to do this a little out of order, like I do um, on Sundays when I do the budget, because I am happy to announce that I have lost two pounds this week, which means I'm gonna owe myself $4. And I did move those $32 into my husband's savings account, which means, let's take 36 away from that, means that we're gonna put $18 So we'll put $18 into our snowball and we'll put 64 cents into the bush buffer. Let me start this over. So 54.64 minus the 18 is gonna give us 36.64. When I pull that value down and I add these three, it should equal 3664. Let's see. Perfect. So it does equal 3664. And that gives us that zero base budget. Awesome. I am really happy that we're able to put extra money into our variable expenses because the sooner we fill those, the more money we have towards our sinking or our. I want to always say sinking funds, but it's to our snowball debt. So that's really exciting. I always like to kind of keep track of our buffer down here, since I keep a close eye on that. And we <clears throat> did start off with $67.69. When we add, we're not subtracting, when we add 64 cents to that, that gives us a total of $68.33. Perfect. As always, let's go ahead and check my math since, ooh, I forgot to put the leftover amount here. I know that I do have some people that pay close attention to little details like that. So I just wanna make sure that I put that value in there for ya. You know exactly who you are. <laughs> okay, so our income is 805.30 minus our bill total, which is the 355.66, minus the 295 going into variable spending, the 100 to sinking funds, the 18 going towards our snowball. And last but not least, the 36.64 going into savings, which does in fact give us that zero-based budget. 
thank you so very much for taking time out of your day to watch this content. I appreciate and love each and every one of you. So thanks. Honestly, thank you. I'll be back tomorrow with our cash stuffing and hopefully we're going to see how this works out, but I'm hoping that I can also do a cash exchange tomorrow because that sinking fund binder is way full. So it is the first time doing this. So I'm hoping that my calculations are okay. Um, but come on with me for the ride. <laughs> I hope that each and every one of you have an amazing evening. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow, friends. Bye.